We don't think that great tasting coffee should be limited to a cafe. To enjoy third wave specialty coffee at home, all you need is to follow the four keys formula. But let's talk more about that later. Introducing the Bambino, serious espresso, serious value, in a seriously compact machine. Time to unbox. But first, let's set the mood. Hmm. Not bad. Ah, that's better. Lay the box on its side and use the flap to slide the machine out. You'll find a set of accessories that all have a part to play. Right, now let's wash all the parts and accessories and dry thoroughly before use. Fill the water tank with fresh water to the indicated max line. And then place the water tank back into the machine. Now, let's power it up. Press the one cup button and the machine will commence its first use cycle. Once complete, the machine will go into ready mode and all the lights will be illuminated. Now the machine is set up, you're ready to make your first coffee. I'm using the Smart Grinder Pro for precise coffee grinding, which I'll fill with fresh coffee beans. Even the best espresso machine won't make amazing coffee without the right beans. So let's talk to an expert to get the inside scoop. Paul Geshas, owner of Mecca Coffee, is a professional coffee roaster. So let's ask him what to look for to enjoy third wave specialty coffee. Well, it starts with freshness, but you don't want too fresh. Coffee beans are at their peak flavor from about five to 30 days out of roast. Immediately after being roasted, coffee releases CO2, so using it before that five day mark makes it a bit more challenging to work with. Once the beans are older than about 30 days, volatile aromatics start to fade, so the coffee loses the best parts of its character. Always look for a roasted on date. This is your key to freshness. Once you open that bag of coffee, beans start to age, their flavor is affected by oxidization, similar to when you open up a bottle of wine. That's why it's so important to buy freshly roasted beans, preferably from a roaster like me or your favorite cafe. There it is, straight from a pro. Only buy beans with a roasted on date, so you know exactly how fresh they are. If there's a use by or best before date, you won't be able to tell if they're fresh or not. Now, Let's make that latte, shall we? Grab the portafilter. Now, this is key to enjoying third wave specialty coffee, and it's similar to what's used in a cafe. Place it into the small grind cradle like this, and nudge it forward to start grinding. Now you've got your ground coffee. All you need to do is tamp just like a pro. Collapse the grinds into the portafilter before using the tamper and applying firm pressure with a slight twist to finish. Now, it's time to brew. Insert and lock the portafilter into the group head. You have the option here of a single or double shot espresso. Let's go with a double shot. Let's take a closer look. Look at that. Flowing like thick, warm honey. That's what you're looking for. Here's where the four keys formula comes in. Key number one, full-bodied coffee with rich and complex flavors is created using the ideal dose of 18 to 22 grams of freshly ground beans that you can easily control using the Smart Grinder Pro. Key number two is a perfectly balanced espresso with sweet, delicious, and nuanced flavor notes that comes from brew water temperature delivered at precisely 200 degrees Fahrenheit just like a commercial machine. The Bambino uses digital PID technology to achieve this. Key number three is about the right pressure during the extraction. This is one of those times when bigger is definitely not better. We start with low pressure pre-infusion, followed by a high pressure nine bar extraction process delivered via our 15 bar Italian pump and an overpressure valve. Achieving the perfect espresso extraction is based on a number of factors you need to monitor and adjust regularly. Here's a barista to explain how it's done. Hey 
there. Let's take a closer look at some extraction results you might come across and what adjustments you need to make to consistently create that balanced espresso shot. Pay attention to the shot clock as each extraction starts. If your espresso is flowing too fast, it's under extracted and you'll need to decrease your grind size, making it finer for the next coffee you make. However, if it's flowing too slowly, it's over extracted. So increase your grind size, making it coarser for your next coffee. Keep an eye on this each time you make a coffee for that perfectly balanced shot, just like this. Brilliant, Leo. So the perfect extraction is all about finding the right grind size. Got it? Good. The dose and shot duration will affect the flavor of your espresso. Experiment by changing grind size and dose just one at a time to unlock your perfect espresso. Now you have the perfect espresso shot. It's time to texture your milk and create silky, velvety microfoam that every milk coffee needs and is essential for latte art. Fill your jug with fresh, cold milk to just below the spout mark. Insert the steam wand into the jug and with the tip below the surface of the milk, press the steam button to start texturing. The milk is at the right temperature when the jug becomes too hot to touch. Now, let's talk about the science of microfoam milk. Here's Rob, a senior industrial engineer from Breville. The science of microfoam milk is the fourth and final key of our four keys formula, and it's just as important as the other keys. You need powerful steam pressure at around 260 degrees Fahrenheit. This is essential to create shiny, silky microfoam that has a rich, velvety mouthfeel. Without microfoam, latte art is impossible. High-powered steam transforms the milk into thousands of tiny bubbles. When combined with the espresso, these trap the espresso oils to create a delicious balanced flavour and mouthfeel. And that's how we engineer all our machines, to replicate the performance you get from professional equipment. Thanks, Rob. Once your microfoam milk reaches temperature, press any button to stop. Remove the jug and wipe with a damp cloth before lowering and manually purging the steam wand by pressing and holding the steam button for three seconds. Now, it's time to finish off that latte. Hey, Leo, you still there? I sure am. I'll take it from here. Okay, first you want to swirl the microphone in the jug. Start by tilting the cup before pouring the microphone directly into the center of the espresso, not breaking the crema to create a blank canvas. Then move the milk jug close to the surface until the white appears and shake the jug gently from side to side and move back. Then pour back through the art, lifting the jug up to create a finer stroke to finish it off. Just like this. Let's not show mine, shall we? But practice makes perfect. Give me some time. So now you know all about the Bambino, the fun, really begins. Get creative with different drinks like cappuccinos, americanos, or even espresso martinis. And before you know it, you'll be mastering the best style of coffee on the planet. So there you have it. Introducing the Bambino, serious espresso, serious value in a seriously compact machine. <laughs>